And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, I had some tomatoes and peppers just barely surviving after the frost yesterday. And this morning they were burned a little bit more, but they're just barely hanging on. Well, tonight's going to be the night that those will likely be completely burned away and the growing season will be completely over as we drop down to 27 for a low frosty conditions, wind becoming light to calm with a clear sky. And there are the lows once again. I think the coldest area in the viewing area is going to be here in western white. Uh, Eastern Benton County, probably around 26 there. The rest of the area likely 27 to about 28. Warmest in our northeastern counties with a little bit more wind. So 30 at Winnemac, 30 Rochester, and about 30 at Peru. Now tomorrow, after a lot of sunshine in the morning, uh, once again, some clouds developing in the afternoon. These will be a mix of these kind of cumulus clouds like we saw today and some high thin cirrus clouds coming in from the west. So that sun dimming, fading a little bit, 48 for the high, a northwest wind developing, and highs 46 to 51, very similar to what we had today. And fairly similar highs on Thursday with skies partly cloudy, but a cold one, frosty 26 on Thursday morning, and a high of 49 during the afternoon, 49 Lafayette, but 52 down to Petersburg, and about 47 at Logansport. And finally on Friday, I had to show this graphic because this is the warmer air coming in. Another frosty morning, but notice the wind turning to the southeast, mostly sunny and a high up to 53. And we're going to get up 50 to 56 for the viewing area. How about mid 50s from Petersburg to Fowler and Remington and low 50s at Flora and Delphi. Here's future cast again. Uh, a lot of mostly clear skies tonight and then tomorrow some clouds bubbling up and some also high clouds coming in from the west. So we'll call it a partly cloudy day, partly cloudy for part of tomorrow night, but then it becomes clear late. So the temperature tanks mid 20s to around 30 Thursday again, a partly cloudy day around and then a cold Thursday night. Friday's mostly sunny, but notice how the wind is turned to the southeast. Partly cloudy on Saturday, warmer still, the wind turning to the south. And finally, it really warms up Sunday and into Monday. Strong southwest winds. The warm front will be moving northward up around this area. So temperatures way above normal. A couple of showers late Tuesday and Wednesday, but the main time frame for solid rainfall will be this. This could be uh, severe weather actually from Iowa down to Oklahoma. This could be a squall line of severe storms, and we may get the leftovers of that at the end of next week with potential of an isolated severe storm or two, depending on just how unstable that we do get. But the new blog post is up right now. I'm about to put a link to that blog post on Facebook right as we speak, and you can check that out on our Storm Team 18 weather app and also WLFI.com. Normal high mid 50s. We're finally near normal Friday, normal Saturday, but here's that warmth coming in 68 Monday, only down to 55 on Monday night and only 55 on Tuesday night with a couple showers later in the day.